Hey everybody, Rory from ANS Gear. We've got a brand new Exalt product today for the EMF 100, or if you have the older version, the EMG 100 right there. This is the flared Magwell upgrade for this marker. Now we've seen this upgrade on the TIPX already. It's an adapter that goes onto the bottom that helps funnel the magazine into the um, slot where it goes into the well. Uh, so if you're reloading, you're trying to do it quickly and you're um, I don't want to say not paying attention, but you want to give yourself a larger area that can uh, help get the magazine in quicker. This is a great upgrade for you right here. So it flares out the bottom to give you a larger area to get that magazine in. Now I've got two guns up here. We're going to use this one, but we've got this one up here. Check this out. It has the power stock on it. It already has a tank on it with the uh, inside the power stock right there. So a sweet setup that you could get on there. But if you want to add one more accessory, we're going to put one on this uh, earth EMF right here. So first thing we're gonna do is take it off the stand. We're gonna pull this little piece out the back right here. We are going to need to punch out a roll pin right here. So uh, on the marker right here, here's our mag well, and then we've got our magazine inside here. This is just the dummy mag. We're gonna put in a, a, a CF20 mag right there. So we gotta undo this one first and get it out. So let's pull this magazine out of there. So this little hinge right here that moves back and forth, it pivots on a pin that is inside here. We're gonna need to remove that pin because this screw that's on the flared magwell is gonna pass through this hole right here. So we need to get that pin out. Now that pin inside there is knurled on one side. So with anything that's knurled, you don't wanna pass the knurled side through the entire assembly that you're trying to take it out of. You want to make sure that the knurled side comes out first and you push the rest of the pin out that way. On this particular marker right here, the knurled side on this one is on the left hand side. Now, I don't know if they made them all that way. I know this one happens to be that way. Um, so I have a punch right here and my hammer. Now you might be able to push it out by hand. I don't know. So I tried to push it out by hand and I couldn't get it to come out. So I'm going to use my punch. I'm going to kind of just position it right there. And I'm going to knock that pin. Now I didn't have to hit it very hard. And you can see the pin is popped out on this side right here. And you can see the knurled end to it right there. If I tried to hit that pin through this way and bring the knurled side out this way, you're going to make all the holes in there too big and then it's gonna get sloppy inside there so we don't want to do that we want the knurled side to come out first and at that point once that knurling comes out of there we can take this whole pin and we can just pull it out it's super simple to get out we just want to make sure that it's going the right way so if you are hammering your pin out you want to just tap it gently and see the end of the pin coming out if you do not see the knurled end coming out stop switch to the other side and knock the pin out. All right, so we have our pin out. We don't need to do anything to this as it sits right here. We're gonna take our well, we're gonna take the, uh, the screw out right here, and then we're gonna put the well on. Now the well has a narrow side, the top side right here, and it has the flared side on the bottom right here. We want the flared side to be out so that it gives us a wider mouth for our magazine. And then it just is gonna sit on the outside here. Get on there. All right, so we've got it on the outside. We're gonna run our, uh, our screw through that hole. One side of this has a nut on it right there. Sometimes this nut will fall out, so just be careful. Don't lose the nut that's on there. And there's only one side that the nut will fit in. The nut goes into the hole that is shaped like a nut. The other side right here, this hole is round. So the head of the screw is gonna fit into that spot. So we're gonna run it through that side, through the other way, and then we are going to use our Allen and we are gonna screw it in. All right, make sure that's on there. And make sure that moves, that it's not binding up in any way. And there we have that. That's our look with the flared bottom right there, ready to go. 
And as you can see, our surface to go in is much wider than it was originally. It's just gonna give us more space to get that magazine up inside of there. So if you're slightly off and you need to get through there, well, I'm going the wrong way. Um, it's gonna add that in there. Now, you are gonna see it's kind of flared out like that. That's just what's gonna look like. But if you come off slightly off center, it's gonna help funnel that into the gun. So you're always hitting it in the right spot right there. Cool little adapter, cool little design right there. Just giving you that extra little bit of space to get that magazine up into the gun right there. If you find yourself putting them in there and you're always hitting the side and it's not going in, this might be helpful for you. You can get that and just slide it right in there. So we've got these brand new Exalt EMF 100 or EMG 100, depending on when you picked up your gun. They used to be called EMG, now they're EMF, uh, but flared Magwell upgrades from Exalt. They're available on the website. Pick yours up today at ansgear.com.